Hey folks, how you doing? It's the Uber Dude here. In this episode, we meet a young man who's been through some drug use and is going through some stuff in his current relationship. Before you leave, please subscribe and hit that notification button. Man, before this truck driving stuff, I've only been doing this for two years, man. I was homeless, dude. I was a homeless, meth shooting up, drug addict, dude. I was shooting up meth, dude. And, um, I don't know, I just woke up one day and found God and God was like, here's this truck driving opportunity. I have no bills, I have no kids, nothing. Stuck that cash, man. I know, but I got a girlfriend and she's like needy, bro. And she's like, oh, oh man, don't, I don't I'm know. Tell you right now, I'm telling you right now. All right. Not give up the trucking thing for your girlfriend. Go, I won't, I won't, I won't, I can't. Let me tell you, I mean, me and this girl, we work together, but right now, this, this is why I'm in this ride, because we're having problems. She wants me, we're both Christians, but she's been Christian for a lot longer than me. And she wants me to like conform to, to the way she believes, but at the same time, we have sex, we do this. She contradicts her whole faith. She's crazy, the man that's supposed to lead religiously, you know what I mean, in the family. The man that's supposed to lead, period. So I feel like it kind of falls on me, like. What do you want to do, Rob? I, I'm afraid to be alone. I want to make money and be with her. And I've been struggling. I mean, we dated before, and a year later, we're dating now, and I do everything for this girl. Like, the moment she wakes up, I get her a cup of coffee so she can get all dolled up for the day. I do ev I mean, everything. I make sure she doesn't have to stress about nothing. She's a law student. She's going to school. She, I, I mean, everything. And she feels, she feels inferior to me because I'm making money right now, and I don't make... I mean, lawyers make like what, 300k a year? I make like 50k a year, so it's like yeah. it's like you shouldn't feel inferior. But she feels inferior to me because I'm making money right now, so that's why I'm like, you know, bending over backward. I don't know, dude. It's a really screwed up situation mentally, I guess. This is my opinion. I don't think that you should gear everything towards her. So stand my ground, but let her understand why I'm standing my ground. Yeah, and that's, that's, towards it. Like just care about her, but. Don't don't do it to the detriment of yourself. You have to like like look. This is what I want to do. This is the things I want to do to achieve my goal. Yeah. And I love you and I care about you. In order to get there, this is what I have to do. It's hard, but you have to do it. Or you yeah. have to you have to either say it or you have to do it. If you do that, what's what's gonna happen? She's so good at like just like if you left, that ain't nothing. She like, told you her, that? Like, I mean, like, I don't know how to deal with that, man. She like, said that like, to I you? Like, I want you to suffer. I mean, no, she don't say that, but it's, it's just her, uh, and it's her, her. Yeah, man. Like, she's a white girl that listens, that hardcore listens to R&B, you know what I mean? Like, she's, she, you might as well just label her as, like, a black girl. I mean, I hate to, like, say that, but we are, we're all, we all come from different cultures, but she's, like, one of those strong, like, Ow. ain't nothing can break me type girls. The thing about that is that you're not leaving her, she's leaving herself because she's saying if you don't do when is she gonna good, realize if, you, that? if you don't do what I tell you to do, then you're gonna hurt. But for how long? A week? I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna be I mean, you know how guys are man. Like a girl gets heart broken for a week and they're over it. The guys, it can last for years, man. No, you don't have to leave her. All I'm saying is you have to you just have to I do what know, you wanna man. do. I'd just rather not be stressed out. I just wanna make money, continue doing what I'm doing and man, not be bye, bye, man, bye, bye, But I hate being alone though. Sucks, man. It's really like emotionally tolling. I don't have family to like rely on either, man. It's just yeah. it's just me out here and her. You can't live your life with somebody else. You're not gonna accomplish anything if you're always trying to live up to somebody else's expectations. You're not gonna be fulfilled. You'll be regretful of her. As long as you're not hurting anybody or harming anybody, you say you don't want to be by yourself, but let me tell you something. If you want, if you have a trucking company with four, four or five trucks, yeah, you don't, you're not gonna have to be looking for anybody. They are gonna find you. Women will find you. Yeah, but, well, they okay. will find you. Let me just stop. I like, not overanalyze things so bad. They will find you. Okay, let's take any successful man. You make it, you own a truck and company, whatever it is. You have four, five, five, six trucks. You're making money, right? Yeah. Trust and believe me that you won't be hard to find by women. It's not like, not like you, it's not like, you know, they're going to be like, oh, he's making 100, 150,000 a year, whatever it is. And then like, oh, you know what I'm saying? They're going to find you. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you thought about the video in the comment section. I love you guys. Please subscribe. See you next time. Peace. Is that something you'd be interested in? Yeah, of yeah. course. Yeah, yeah. I love YouTube, man.